All right, we are here with class of 2021, Roger Bacon running back Corey Kiner, 290 yards, six touchdowns tonight in the first round of the playoffs. Um, you know, just talk about your performance tonight. It was obviously a huge game for you guys. Yes, sir. Um, the line was blocking, was blocking great. Um, the defense was playing good. We got the ball back, and we just kept pushing it down the throat. Uh, it was a tight game there for a while. Uh, you guys were down 14-12 at halftime. Yes, sir. Um, you, had, you had the two touchdowns, I believe, in the first half. Yes, sir. And then you came out and uh, put on four more touchdowns in the second half and kind of uh, blew it open there uh, late in the third quarter. Yes, sir. You know, what do you think allowed you guys to do that after a first half that was pretty even? Uh, we came out first half, first playoff game for this team, and we just we had to get used to it. And then it came out second half uh, playing Spartan football. You're a pretty physical downhill runner. I mean, do you think that wears on teams when, you, when you're able to kind of deliver some hits there in that yes, first sir. half and then you uh, hit them with some speed in the second half? Yes, sir. It definitely wears down on teams because they were big hitters, but um, I was hitting back, so it definitely wears down on teams. Uh, you know, great season for you so far. I mean, what, obviously you guys are in a playoff run right now. What do you guys think you need to do here uh, here the next couple of weeks if you want to continue to advance? What's keep, the key for you Keep guys? working hard. Uh, come back to practice Monday and just – um, we're 0-0 we're zero, zero again, so we just got to keep working hard. Our goal is state, and that's what we're trying to work together. And I'm, I'm sure recruiting at this point is taking a back seat to, to what you're doing right now, and you probably yes, will maybe pick that up a little bit here uh, in a month or two. Yes, sir. But, um, you know, you, you have over 20 offers. you got a lot of Big Ten schools after you. Yes, sir. You know, uh, you know, I know Ohio State's one. Um, you know, what's your contact been like with those guys, I guess, since September 1st when they were allowed to start contacting uh, juniors? And kind yes, of who you've been talking to and what's your relationship with Ohio State right now? Yes, sir. Uh, I've been talking to Coach uh, Alfred and Coach Day. Those are two main people that I talk to. I talk to those guys probably every day, um, every day of the week, and they just, they're great at recruiting. And I love Ohio State. Have you noticed? Have you been watching them at all this year? Like when you when you get it when you get a chance and just kind of the way their running game has been going through? Is that, is that something you've taken notice yes, of? Yes, um, I definitely I watch Ohio State every weekend. Um, J.K. Dobbins, he's doing his thing, and I just try to I try to look up to him and everything he's doing. I try to make make it into my game. I was, I was going to say, do, do you see some similarities there? You guys are of similar stature. You're both, uh, you know, you're not the tallest guys, but you're very solidly built. You're strong and fat. I mean, do you, do you see some some of your game in him? Yes, sir. Um, I definitely see my see myself in JK, um, but he's on a whole nother level than me right now, and I'm just working to get to his level. Yep, you know, Michigan also uh, very yes, involved with you. How's that relationship? You know, what, do you, what have you seen out of those guys, and who are you talking to there? Oh, yeah, Coach Jay Harbaugh, that's just one of my favorite coaches. I talk to him every day um, in the morning. I say good morning. He says good morning. At night, we talk about practice, about school, uh, everything that's going on in my life and everything that's going on in his life with his team and everything like that. Uh, I, th I believe Penn State's another one that's that's pretty involved with you. Is, is yes, that sir. is that true? And, and, you know, as far as them, I mean, how have you, you know, where, where are things with them? Have you been up there recently? Uh, or no, sir. I haven't been up to Penn State, but I hope to get up there soon. It's, you know, football season. It, I don't really have time to get to visits and everything like that, I'm trying to keep up with my team. So You're after, talking to them, though? I mean, Yes, sir. Um, okay. After the season, I'll probably uh, pick up my recruiting more, okay. talking to schools more, because uh, I won't have to right. worry about practice after school. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll have more time to talk. Is there anyone else you're talking to that you know we haven't covered yet? I mean, just anyone that you mostly every everybody that's offered me, I've talked. I've been keeping talking. it pretty. Yes, sir. And then you will probably again, you know, narrowed list after the season or anything like that. I mean, kind of uh, how you know, spring officials, next fall officials. I mean, kind of how do you feel about um, that? I'll probably narrow my list before, early before or late, probably right before next football season or during the season. So you can um, see this going into your senior year. Yes, sir. Um, I'm not trying to rush anything. I want to ask you about upcoming visits because you guys are playing on Saturdays right now. Yes, we don't, we, we don't want to jinx anything, but yeah, uh, um, congratulations on a great you. win and, and uh, keep, keep going. Yes, sir. Thank you.